Hey everybody, I'm tired of that horrible NEX Max D-pad thing slide clicker. Stupid. Alright, today we're going to get into how to get rid of this stupid thing and replace it with oh, a bright green joystick. And it only takes sandpaper and a screwdriver which didn't make it into the shot. And I'm turning around to hide the brand. It's, yeah, it's really not that hard. Plus, the slide clicker sucks. First, okay, firstly, we're going to take the back off with the screwdriver. That's why we brought the screwdriver, okay? Nothing else, it only takes us apart. Figure it out yourself. Dang it, can't do everything for you. No, but seriously, let's get to doing this. All right, all seven screws out. Take off the back, flip out the board. Pick up all the pieces that fall. <laughs> all right, but this, this is the key. This, the way that this functions is it's got a little tab here and when you apply pressure and slide these it acts like the arrow keys or you can just literally press on the outside ring either I don't know what they were trying to do with this I took it out and I cleaned it pretty well get most of the gunk off of it make it slide a little better it's still crap so that's why we're going to take it out and as you see this Oh, it's pretty close to the same size, especially when we open it up. Meh. Meh. It's almost like it was made for this. Glorious. Alright, but we do have to do a little filing to get that down fit in here right or maybe we don't yeah we do aha <laughs> you thought that this was gonna be easier you were wrong okay next we're going to carefully take this and start getting rid of some of its diameter well diameter yeah it's affecting its diameter as well start grinding it down a little bit this probably be way easier with a file, but I don't know where my file is. But I do know where sandpaper is, because that's how I roll. Alright. Do a little bit at a time. And try testing it out back inside the housing, which is really funky looking, isn't it? Anyway, like I said, do a little bit at a time. You want it to fit in here. And oh, that's so close. So close. Alright. So, yes, now. Now that we get this to fit snugly in here, great. We didn't, took off a fair amount to make this thing click together solidly. Don't want to go too far, don't want it to, because like I said, this is going to be a joystick on it, so. The next step, after we get rid of all of the sand, all of this, you know what, we're not getting rid of it, is to reassemble controller and oh my does it come into pieces but thanks to the miracle of video editing I myself am the only one who's troubled by it and now you see we have on joystick way better than, than slidey stupid disc go away ah feels 
It still feels like a crap controller, but I'm sure it plays a lot better now. Well, I'm off to go find out. So, that was absolutely, uh, well, a pretty easy mod. And I got these. They're Xbox uh, 360 replacement joysticks. About 99 cents on eBay. And I didn't splurge to get red ones because I'm cheap. And I wasn't sure that this would actually work. So, now I have green. Au revoir.